What's up guys and welcome back to another Attack on Titan 2 playthrough video. So in the last part we had Titans appear during the night while we were staying and camping in this uh, destroyed castle. And as we saw the Titans we also saw the Beast Titan appeared. Uh, had to deal with him a little bit. And now most of our other comrades are dead now. Um, so now we're just going to see what happens after this. I think we're all out of resources right now. So the castle, I think, is still about to try to crumble down. And I think there's some more titans still. But now we're going to see what happens. How will we get out of this? Right here can read about Ymir. I think uh, she already appeared before. Krista, and then ODM gear again. So trapped, tower gonna collapse. Nanika. <laughs> So right here, this is a part that um, beforehand didn't, I don't think got shown in the anime until Ymir just brought it up. But um, it was back whenever we were still training uh, in the, uh, I forgot what it was called, but before we even became scouts or anything, we were still training the Cadet Corps. So right here, Ymir is saying, you know, she'll tell, she'll tell Krista how she got Daz to safety, you know, on that blizzard mountain, uh, on one condition, and that was if Krista would actually use her real name. So right here, we got some supplies, and now we see that Ymir is also a titan shifter, which her titan is very small, compared to like how we've seen Aaron's and like just other normal titans we've seen. Hers is pretty small compared to them. Chris, you know 
So basically, whenever she said uh, she was going to tell, you know, you Krista how she got Daz off that mountain to safety during that whole blizzard, that, that's how she did it. She transformed into, uh, you know, her Titan form. So pretty much shows that Ymir has been a Titan shifter for quite a long time. Ever since the, you know, the, uh, the Cadet Corps. Which now that I'm also thinking about it, um... I'm remembering something from one of the seasons. I can't remember which season it was, but uh, I won't mention it now because I don't know if the game will mention it. I'll probably mention it like after story and stuff, but um, it's got me thinking now about Ym Ymir with how she's been a Titan shifter since, uh, you know, the Cadet Corps, keeping it a secret. So right there, we took care of all the ones that we need to. Also, notice that there's no uh, bases I could even put on this map. But right there, Ymir's down, Titan's appeared. Gotta go save her. So now we got backup, Mikasa and them showing up. Uh, and right there, uh, Crystal was about to say her real name. Uh, we'll end up hearing it. Um, another thing is like how they were holding on to Ymir, like even from her hair, while the tower was collapsing and while Ymir was moving, shows just how much of an insane grip they have to be holding on to that. Another thing is, like, Ymir was able to speak while in her Titan form. Like, it wasn't, like, fluent, fluent, I guess you can say. Uh, but she was able to speak while in her Titan form, which is something that we haven't seen Aaron do. So go ahead and replace these. We can actually put, uh, bases now, so get some supplies. We're gonna go ahead and get Aaron on the team. Don't know if we'll be able to use his, uh, his Titan Shifter ability, though. Okay, yeah, we can't. So now let's go get Armin. 
Go ahead and build a supply base right here. Mikasa's showing up over there. Definitely gonna go get her. Okay, so now let's make our way to Mikasa. And now that we know Ymir is a Titan Shifter, we saw, like, if you remember way back in the beginning, like, how everybody reacted to Eren being one, who knows how they'll react to, like, Ymir being one, and especially keeping it a secret since, since the beginning. Right there, I need to save Eren. There we go. I need to save Mikasa. We'll go grab that next mission right over there, build some more uh, mining bases. Because any materials I can get will be good for the later runs whenever I actually start farming in this. Which when I farm, I'll stream them. Because uh, I'd rather not do episodes of those. Because if I didn't stream them, it would just be all off screen, which I'd rather stream because then you'll get to see me do it, even the qual even though the quality is like not great, but I'll at least be able to, you know, talk as well. Starting to notice too, not hitting really, not hitting really hard damage numbers, though that could be from, uh, that could just be from like getting closer to the end of the story and these are becoming, I guess, a little more healthy, but it just doesn't seem like the, the normal high damage numbers I'm usually hitting. I could be wrong though. But it most likely would be lower damage numbers if I uh, was using just non-daily login bonus gear. Because honestly, if I didn't have uh, this daily login bonus gear, uh, these would be a little bit t like longer to kill, especially the bosses. Like even with this login gear, uh, you you notice sometimes the bosses like they they take a while to even just you know destroy a leg. You know, destroy their limbs, but like they're but when I attack them at their neck, uh they take a lot more. Go ahead and build some more bases. We'll just go around real quick and just build these bases. Just make it back here. I'm not sure uh, how long it takes for these mining bases, though, to pick up uh, a material. I don't know if it's like a couple of seconds or, or or what. I'll probably have to look into that because because uh, if I'm going to be farming materials from like certain missions with mining bases and stuff like that, uh, I want to know at least if like the mining bases are time based for uh, for gathering. Because if they are, I could just start a mission and then just sit there for a while. So there we go, can build another one right here. Place my gas. Let's 
See, like, right there, that should have, like, it, with, with what I have, with the gear, that should have at least killed him. One hit. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. That right there, definitely a one hit, because that crit, too. So let's kill this one, and then we'll build that last... I think that's... The only base left upon the map that I'm seeing. See, that was a one hit. Okay, so we got two two more bases. Go ahead and build these. See, normally this would be really bad right here with how many with how many are just clumped up together right here especially on harder difficulties okay actually no boss enemy i was expecting one but not okay よし、窮地は出したね。クリスタ、ここで何が起きたのか教えてくれるかい。まさか、ユミルか。So right there, that's the end of the mission, and we learn Krista's real name is Historia. So we got a new material, S-grade Ultra Hard Steel. We got B-grade uh, Special Mechanism. B-grade Gunpowder. And then Mining just gave us a bunch of these. Got some more Affinity. Ymir can now be used in another mode, and we can now able to build a new manufacturing base level one. So manufacturing bases automatically give you items at certain set intervals because you don't need to be near a base or base building materials in order to obtain the items. Uh, these bases allow you to focus on Titan combat. So I, I think basically what this does is just you set it up and then at set intervals, it'll just give you uh, the base building materials. So like the little, I guess the little signals you shoot whenever you establish a base. Um, I think that's what that just gives you. But I don't think I've ever used that at all. In all my time of playing. But since this is so short, I might do a little bit more. At least until we get to the next part of the next mission. I might do one more mission because this part is pretty short. But we're going to have a lot to do once we get back to the daily life section. So now we got a guard castle, so the fight, thanks to Ymir's Titan transformation and scout regiment reinforcements. So we can now travel to a guard castle. We got some affinity right here. Um, don't think we can go anywhere else. I, we might be able to go back to these places, I guess. Yeah, I think we can. Okay, so yeah, we can we can go back to our we're already back in daily life section, but yeah, we got a lot of affinity. I will do those off screen because that's gonna be a lot. And then whatever skills I get, um, I'll just you know write them down, and then in the next part I'll uh, mention them. Okay, so real quick guys, I just want to make this uh, right here at the end because uh, I originally did this part of the game, well this mission, I did this mission and then I went ahead and did the next one all in one clip, 
but I've decided to split them. Uh, I'll do. I'll just have this one as one clip, and then I'll do the next one because it'll be better for me to really just do that. But um, I'm gonna end it here, and then we're gonna see what happens in the next part once we can, you know, get back to the walls and see what happens with Ymir and Krista now, since we now know her name is Historia. So until then, I'll see you guys next part. Peace.